it's me, me I am the HBIC of NXT. Um, I just woke up. So I figure this morning I will film my AM morning skincare routine. Um, being in the show business, being in entertainment, my opinion, skincare is a priority. Um, growing up, I've always had acne prone skin. It was also extremely oily. And growing up, I figured because my skin was so oily, I don't need to moisturize. I would just need a wash with a bar of soap once a day. And it was, it was so bad. My acne grew out of control by the time I hit college that it was just embarrassing to go outside. And the older I got, surprisingly, the worse my acne got. So it wasn't a once I turned 18 or 21, my skin got better. It actually got worse. And the more, I don't wear makeup much. Um, I only wear makeup when I have to wrestle or do meet and greets or photo shoots. So this is me without any makeup. I never wear makeup at home. I realized the more I started wearing makeup when I started wrestling at 18, the worse my skin got because I wasn't cleansing properly. I wasn't getting rid of all the dirts and oils, um, bacteria. And so it wasn't until I went into TNA Impact Wrestling, which was my first experience with TV wrestling, that my skin got real bad that no matter how much they packed makeup on my skin on HD TVs, you could just see craters and I got <laughs> annihilated on social media because of my skin. Um, I hope I could find pictures from that one pay-per-view that it was just disgusting. But um, I remember at Impact, one of the makeup ladies was doing my makeup and she said, girl, you're on TV now. You need to start figuring out how to control your, your skin or take care of your skin. And that was a reality check for me to invest in skincare. It was years of research just on Google, on YouTube, going to my dermatologist, um, and I'll put all the links down below of everyone that still to this day that I would research. I would watch Dr. Dre. I would watch Skin by Hiram, uh, James Welsh. So those were the people that really helped me kind of formulate the routine that I have now. And I have noticed a huge difference than when I wasn't. I was just washing my face with generic drugstore brand face wash. And before I get into my routine, I want you guys to take, I do have a ring light on just so you guys can really see my skin. So I haven't done anything to my skin at all this morning yet. So this is me just waking up. Um, but you can see that I have a little bit of scars from my acne. Um, it's a little bit oily. Well, this side's probably better. You can still see some acne scars. I, I have a little bit of bumps and unevenness, but I did do a cycle of Accutane about three years ago, two, three, three, three years ago, because it was before I signed at WWE. So I did do Accutane and I did do uh, microneedling, which is a pen that has little needles on the tip that creates punctures on your skin to rejuvenate collagen and to kind of get rid of the scarring. I would also like to mention that I am not a dermatologist or a licensed esthetician. So if you have any questions or concerns with your skin, the products I'm talking about, or any 
questions, concerns, just reach out to your dermatologist because I am just a wrestler obsessed with skincare. So the first thing I like to do when I get my day started is to wash my face and get all the overnight sweat and grime. I sleep with my dog, so I just wanna wash my face first thing in the morning. So what I use is the Youth to the People Superfoods Cleanser. And with that, I also like to lather with the Foreo, just cause I hear, I hear this, the vibrations causes the uh, soap to go deeper into the skin. So that's the cleanser and little tools that I like to use in the morning. I also forgot to mention that I also wash my neck and chin just because the same way you treat your skin on your face, you want to treat, treat your neck with. So after I wash my face with the Youth to the People Superfoods Cleanser, I like to use serums. I don't use essence or uh, anything, toners. I don't use any of those. Um, I also have, have a skincare fridge here that I like to keep all of my serums and moisturizers in just so it's it has a cooling effect to help with my redness and any swellings, things like that. So, First, I like to use the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. And that's like just to help with my acne and just get my skin ready for everything else to go on top. So I like to use this first. And all these products, if this is something that you guys are interested in just leave a comment below asking which product interests you and I do not mind doing a review on specific products my thoughts sorry my nails actually you probably won't even be able to see it because it's coming up backwards but and my nails is real messed up so this is real janky but i like to get this is clinical pro heal serum advance plus at the same place i get my microneedling um and i like it because not only is it just vitamin c it helps with my scarring it helps heal whatever my skin is going through whether it's a little blemish, acne, um, so with droppers, I either drop it in my fingertips or directly on my skin without actually touching my skin just so I don't contaminate the dropper. Mm. 
well just rub all of that in so after the niacinamide and the vitamin c i like to use the ordinary buffet peptide serum and i like to use this serum on my neck and my face so i'll just start with my neck and i know i'm supposed to go in upwards motion but i'm lazy so i like to get my whole neck area and then after my neck I like to do it on my face and I will list all the products that I use in the morning, all the products that I've mentioned in this video, I'll put it all in the description below so you guys can take a look at it. And if anything interests you, then you can go find it online or read more about it. So after the buffet, so this is not really set in my routine. I just got a, um, Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado Sample in one of my Sephora packages. So I've just been trying this and I've never really cared for under eye creams because to me it's the same as moisturizers. But if it's free and it came with my Sephora or orders anyway, might as well just try it and use it. But I've never had an issue with this. I've been using this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado for the last three weeks, two weeks. I've never had an issue and it feels nice. I have no problem with it. I just, I, I notice a little bit of a difference, but not enough for me to go and actually buy a full size container of this so I'll use this after the buffet and I'm pretty much like coming up to the end of it anyway so I probably have like two more days worth so after that I also got uh using my Sephora points I also got the Tatcha water cream sample um I actually yesterday bought the full size of this because I am running low as you can tell and I love the consistency of this cream because it literally is nothing that I felt before and it just feels refreshing to my skin it's like my skin just taking a big gulp of water in the morning and then I also like to apply it to my neck as well. So I just started getting into Tatcha because Dakota Kai uses the dewy cream. And since there was samples of the water cream, I wanted to try something of Tatcha's and absolutely just fell in love with this. And I have oily skin anyway, so this is light enough where it's moisturizing to my skin, but it's not overly gooey. So after that, we wait about 10, 15 minutes for everything to soak in because I also put on the CeraVe V AM moisturizing lotion because it has also an SPF of 30 and this is something that I've neglected my whole life until three four years ago is putting on sunscreen at the very end of your skincare routine um, so I always put this on after everything in the morning just to prep me for the days 
but SPF 30, CeraVe AM. We'll just wait 10, 15 minutes and then I'll put this on. Okay, we're just gonna do the last step and put CeraVe, I like to put it all over. Once again, we cannot forget about the neck. <sighs> Just put on my ring and that is my am routine let me see so smooth plump moisturized you can still see a couple scars but anyone with acne and I used to pick my acne a lot. This is, this is better than what it was, so I'm just grateful. So that is my AM routine. If this interests you, if you like this little video, this is, I'll be posting skincare videos in between my stream videos. If there's any products that you have uh, questions on, you wanna know more about, you want me to talk more about it, Leave comments below. Let me know which products interest you or if you just want to see it all. Once again, I'm not a dermatologist or specialist. Contact your dermatologist if anything concerns you. Everyone's skin is different, so my routine might not work for you. Um, but just wanted to share my AM routine. So hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope uh, this was as fun for you as it was for me and i will see you in the next video whether it's my skincare or playing games and dying a bunch of times all right have a good day